Saturday, first Monday trade days, Canton, Texas. Let's do this. So we made it out here and hopefully we could find some good deals because there's not many people here. So maybe we could uh, wheel and deal. You pick up I guess we can take two of these and then one of the... Uh, you ready for them now? Uh, yes sir. Some has more red, some just... This one's eyeballing me. <laughs> I kind of like that one right there, though. This, this one? one right here? Yeah. With the more white? Yeah, my friend. It's the only way I can get chicks is if I buy them. <laughs> what was that? So the only way I can get chicks is if I buy them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just bought some uh, three hens from the Woodard Farm. We're out here in Canton, Texas, from uh, Truman and Shelley Woodard. Come check them out. They're awesome. So we just got home, and now what we're gonna do is we normally clip the wing so it doesn't fly out, but only one. And so if you've never done this before, it's very simple. Just take a pair of scissors, and then you're going to cut these longer feathers off. And that way, they can't fly out. They could fly, but just not as far. But good enough if there's a predator, they could fly away, but not out of your property. It's just like clipping their toenails. It doesn't hurt them. Pretty much. Higher. All the way up to those other ones. And so it's pretty simple. Not much to it. Didn't affect the chicken at all. So I wanted to show that it's easy to do even by yourself. Again, you're just going to go back through, cut the long ones off. doesn't hurt the chicken it's like cutting your fingernails we're gonna introduce them to the farm as a lot of you may or may not know um, there is a thing called the pecking order and Dude, now you're gonna see the chickens coming over there's a the pecking order is basically just who's the man in charge, which, as you can tell, these two are falling up to each other. Oh, yeah. 
So we got three new hens. We're hoping to get maybe closer to a dozen eggs a day instead of just half a dozen eggs a day. These chickens are already laying. Um, this one's really calm and really nice and lets us hold her and pet her. Um, the, this one's more just for laying eggs. The other two that we got, we want to raise possibly as meat birds. We were told that they're great for meat birds and they're also great for laying and they will sit on their eggs. So yesterday we did our vlog or whatever and we were talking about trying to find good farms around here to get chickens from. We didn't find the actual meat birds that we wanted, but the chickens we bought right now are meat bird and egg layers. And the farm that we showed the business card earlier, those people seem super nice, super great. They sell a lot of chickens around here. And you don't really get that a lot at flea markets. You get some people that are kind of iffy. They give flea markets a bad name. There are people who cut chickens' beaks. We don't buy from those people. If it seems super dirty and stuff like that, we won't buy from them. So we just wanted to say that there are good people out there. So don't let the bad name of flea markets get you. So we are going out of town next week. If we don't find anyone before then, before then selling Cornish cross chicks, then we are going to just order them offline. Um, whenever we do so, we'll show you who we're ordering from, how much it costs, and how much shipping is, how long it takes. We'll do a whole video about that and maybe a whole series about raising them from chicks to our plates. So stay tuned for that. So once we got the chickens taken care of, we headed to the Dallas area to hang out with some friends, eat some good food, drink, have some drinks, and watch the Cowboys game. Wait. How about them Cowboys? <laughs>